Good morning! Uh, today we are going to be building uh, the Lego set uh, from the Harry Potter franchise, Hogwarts Clock Tower. Uh, let's get into it! to be six bags, uh, our instruction manual in a bag with some stickers. Uh, I guess we will start with bag number one. Welcome back. We have completed bag number one, part of the dance hall. We have uh, moving tables, uh, part of the magical dance floor. We have these nice icicles dripping down from the fixtures, as well as the tables, just brings it all together. They have this really nice ice uh, element throughout. We also have Madame Maxime and Victor Crumb. Moving on to bag number two. Bag number two is complete. We have some more dancers on the dance floor. We have uh, Dumbledore, as Madame Maxime would say, and we have Lily Delacour on the dance floor. Further into the castle, we have Dumbledore's office with his pensive, uh, which is where you take the memories, place it in the thing, and you can rewatch the memories. Uh, in the background, I don't know if you can see, but we've got the sorting hat as well as Phoenix. On the lower level, we have the washroom where Harry Potter goes to uh, open up his golden egg. And we get to see in the movie, this uh, stained glass fixture start to move, which I thought was really cool in the movie. Really cool that they added it into the Lego with this nice uh, translucent stained glass window effect. Uh, moving on from egg two, is bag number three.
Welcome back. That was the completion of bag number three. We have part of the school. It's the first floor uh, where they have the Goblet of Fire. Uh, sometimes Lego, they give a little chocolate frog to put in the chest, but this time they didn't do it. That's okay. Uh, just neat little elements, uh, the windows and the steeple. Uh, we also have Ronald and Harry Potter at the ready. Uh, if you stuck around in the video, you would have seen my cat Charlotte on my lap. Uh, usually she doesn't hang around too long, but today was extra special. She, I guess because I ignored her, she stuck around. But as soon as we went to stop the video, of course she got off. But uh, onwards to bag number four. With the completion of bag number four, we now have part of the second story of part of the Hogwarts castle. I really like the architecture of the windows, how they've done that. On the inside, we have Mad-Eye Moody's office. You can tell his name is on the blackboard. And then he also has a book on his desk, but that's all right. I do want to make a correction. In the last video, I said that this was Harry Potter. It is, in fact, Cedric Diggory. I apologize. Uh, but with this build, we now have Hermione in her dress, who we know went to the dance with uh, Crump. So onwards to bag number five. <laughs> With the completion of bag number five, we now have the third story that has the clock tower. Uh, with the bag, it comes with all of the tools needed to build your clock. Uh, if you uh, use your imagination, you can use the wrench, the hammer, the drill, the screwdriver. You can even oil up all the mechanisms. Uh, use your imagination. In the back of the building, we have the crank that will move the clock in the front. In the movies, we know that it is in the infirmary that Hermione utilizes the uh, necklace that she travels through time with, uh, which is the third floor here, is we have the infirmary. Uh, if you need some more lighting, the roof does come off while you play. Onwards to the last bag, bag number six. The clock tower is now complete. We have the finished shingled roof. We have people on the dance floor dancing. In the winter wonderland, we have our Christmas tree with the star on top and people moving about the castle. Thank you for joining us today on this Lego build of the Hogwarts clock tower. We'll see you next time.
Crum, who we know is part of the Triwizard uh, Champion uh, expedition. 